Hey guys, in this tutorial I would like to show you how to use surfaces. We are going to create a shape, not a product in particular, but I'm just going to show you the basics. So the basics features within services that are um, used the most of the times. So we're just going to start, let's create a part then we are going to go to the front plane sketch and we're going to use the spline to create a spline bit of a organic shape then we're going to uh, leave the sketch and we're going to create another plane so we're going to go to features reference geometry and then plane and then we're gonna go to the front plane and we're gonna uh, offset this plane with 100 millimeters and then we're gonna create another plane click on uh, the first plane there's also uh, an offset of 100 millimeters in between okay and then we're gonna create a third plane okay and then on this plane we are gonna uh, what we're doing now is creating guide curves and we're going to connect all the guide curves uh, with a surface as a surface so the first plane we're going to sketch on now is uh, the first plane uh, by hitting the spacebar you can uh, go to normal 2 and then we are going to draw on the second plane uh, another spline and leave that sketch by hitting escape and then leave the sketch then we're gonna go to the second plane we created also gonna sketch on that one with another spline let's see and it doesn't really matter what kind of shape it is but just a an organic shape and we're gonna sketch on the last plane normal 2 use the spline again and I want to align all these lines okay release the sketch and what we're gonna do now you can hide uh, the planes by clicking on it click hide um, and we're gonna connect everything like all the all the guidelines that are connected in uh, in one shape and we're gonna use loft surface so select the profiles this one this one and this one and then we select OK and then we have a, a very yeah organic shape already um, this is a shape without a dimension so it doesn't have a thickness um, and to give it a thickness you can use the tool thicken but we're going to do it later first I want to show you how to cut a surface 
um, so I want to have a circle in the middle from from this surface and I want the rest I want to to trim so um, first we're gonna select the top plane go to normal two then we're gonna select the circle and I want it you can even use uh, well have to but we're, we're just gonna draw a circle it doesn't really matter where exactly it is if we're gonna work precisely we're gonna use dimensions of course but for now it's just to show you uh, the tools um, draw a circle then we are gonna go to surfaces again and then to extrude surface and we're gonna extrude this circle upwards Till it's all true and downwards it's already all through this, uh, this organic shaped surface so we're gonna hit OK and then we're gonna use this circle as a trim tool to cut away the outside <coughs> so to trim we use trim surface then this then we have to select a trim tool this is going to be our trim tool and this is going to be the surface we are going to remove so we hit okay and then what we end up with is this surface in the middle and this tool you can you can delete or you can hide it and we end up with this um, and to give it um, thickness you use uh, the tool thicken you select thicken and you can thick it, uh, thicken it um, both ways uh, or only downward or, or upward and let's give it a dimension of, of 2 and we're gonna do you can hit both ways and when you select you have a solid object so services aren't solid at all uh, you have to uh, given it give it a uh, a dimension and it, uh, it becomes solid and you, you can see here it, it's uh, a solid body right now um, another tool I would like to show you is uh, boundary service so we're going to delete this thicken um, and also these features sketch and yeah also this one and what you see quite a lot when you're going to draw products is that you have to connect surfaces together for example when you draw a plastic bottle um, and to connect them if you have for example a surface right here we, we connect these together yeah and we have a surface right here and you want to connect them together you can use boundary surface so we use uh, here it is we use this line right here so you, you select uh, the lines that you want to connect and in between you you uh, he follows this shape if you if you um, if you select curvature curvature to face or tendency to face and then it becomes a smooth smooth shape in between 
and you hit OK. And then uh, it, it's all connected. But it's still, it, there are three different surfaces. You can see that right here. Three different surfaces. Um, and to connect them all together, we use knit surface. So we're going to hit knit. Then select all the surfaces and press OK. And then it becomes one surface again. And then you can uh, also thicken it as one surface. So you thicken, it sees it as, uh, as one surface. And um, uh, that's about it. Uh, this was the end of the beginner tutorials. I think I showed you the basics of SolidWorks. So I, uh, I showed you the basics, sketch tools, uh, features, surfaces. Um, if you have any suggestions about uh, videos I should make, please let me know about the features you don't understand. I will try to be more active on the channel. Uh, this is the first video in four years I uploaded. So. And I saw in the comment section that people were very happy with the tutorials and it was helpful. So I want to make more videos and um, I want to make videos where we are really going to create products. So objects that are uh, quite simple and then later on we're going to make more difficult objects. So. Yeah, if you have any suggestions, please let me know. 